Good morning. Oh, good morning. How'd you sleep last night? Good. Yeah. Did the cars wake you up this morning? Like the early, the early risers and leaving? I heard them. Yeah. But it just went right back to sleep. Yeah. So it was such a strange sound to have this slow moving vehicle driving over gravel behind your vehicle first thing in the morning. It's like, what is that? And you're like, oh yeah, I'm sleeping in a van <laughs> in a provincial park. So yeah, what movie did we watch last night? It was good. Uh, I think something about time. I think about time or... It's about time. Yeah. So yeah, the, the man in the family, I guess a young 20 year old finds out that from his dad that they have the ability to travel through the past and correct things if they want to. They can't go forward. And there was one other thing they couldn't do. Oh, if they had a baby, they couldn't oh, go Oh, but you're spoiling it. Oh, okay. Oh. No spoiler alerts. It's not spoiling anything. <laughs> anyway, so I uh, asked what we watched and uh, Carol put a bungee cord up really close to the ceiling and then hung her uh, iPad over it and it worked great. We just lied, lied back and laid back and uh, watched the movie. And then once the movie was done, it was probably like 12.30. So went to bed, woke up this morning at nine. <laughs> That's why I was, there weren't early risers, there were normal risers and leaving. We are late risers. Anyway, so today we're going to Kakabaka Falls and it's about 180 something kilometers. Oh, sorry, 260 kilometers uh, south of here. And uh, so we'll be there in three hours. And then we'll uh, hang out there, show you the Kakabaka Falls. This is fun to say, Kakabaka Baka. Kakabaka. <laughs> you got a few extra syllables. Yeah, Kakabaka Baka. <laughs> uh, I don't recall ever seeing it, but chances are we have stopped there in the past. I just don't remember. So it's good to refresh our minds. Yeah. And uh, then we'll go have that Persian. Ready? Ready. What's your man got to do? Uh, 2.39, made it to Kekabaka Falls, and uh, it started raining, of course, so of we course. got our rain jackets, so we're prepared, yeah. and uh, I'm really looking forward to dessert, though. Well, our lunch dessert. Yes. That is way bigger than I was expecting. Yeah. That is, I don't know, I don't know how, what the height of that, those falls are, but they're extremely powerful. Very, very big, very impressive. Lots of water moving over those rocks. It was almost like a... Mini Niagara Falls. A mini Niagara Falls, but bigger than expected. So next time you're driving along the Trans-Canada Highway. Definitely worth stopping here, paying the day fee, whatever that is. We didn't have to pay uh, because we were at a park last night, 
and we, st and we have like 24 hours to use that uh, pass to go to other parks within that 24 hour period I guess and plus we're staying in another park tonight so check it out stay here have lunch I think there's just some restaurants or a restaurant some shopping you can do that way behind us and they've got pop machines here picnic visitor, tables visitor center across the, the river we'll take you over there just momentarily Okay, put your hood up. You got your hood up? Put my hood up. Put my hood up. A lot of spray. This is the spray area. Before we leave, we're gonna uh, make some lunch and then we can have the donuts after, after lunch. At least you don't have bugs to worry about yet. All done with our uh, eggs. Again, we just had scrambled <laughs> eggs. Locking in. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, the Persian man off to our right. I am super excited. Ready to get a Persian? Oh yeah. Let's do it. I hope they're open. It says they're open, but their signs in. Carol said. Oh my goodness. I think we're in for a treat. Eight till five. Yes. Nailed it. Hopefully, yeah. And they got lots. And there we go. We've got some some grocery type items. Oh, there they are. There they are. Sugar donut. Can I help you? Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good things. First time try, okay. trying your Persian. Right. So we're, to try. we're gonna take two, please. Is it best to eat it straight up like that, or do you heat it up? Or? Uh, no, just straight up like that. It's good. Fantastic. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we got some donuts on top of the donuts. Oh, no. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. We will. Look at all these other good, yummy things. All right, guys, there you go. It smells like a bakery. Mm -hmm. Like a, there used to be a bakery right by my school. Oh, that was torture for all the kids. Cheers, guys. Mm, that's good. Yeah, it's like, um, what do they call that? A honeydew donut kind of thing, but not glazed. Um, apparently, the owner calls it a sugar donut dusted with cinnamon and then a raspberry icing I mean, every once in a while you'll crunch a raspberry seed which is completely different than a lot of people described it to us which is like a cinnamon bun which is not like a cinnamon no bun. it's not a cinnamon bun at all no definitely that Plain donut, sugar, 
I'm, I'm not even oh. really getting a lot of cinnamon. And oh. it, and one person said it, it's not as sweet as they thought it was going to be. This is exactly how sweet I thought it was going to be. It's not overly sweet, hurting your teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carol's almost get done. That's good though. Mm. It's really good. I'd definitely come by here. I might even have to say it's better than a certain other kind of donut. Uh oh. <laughs> wow. I'm actually quite enjoying that. Mm -hmm. So to all you amazing people out there who knew that we were going out west and said, if you're going through Thunder Bay, please stop by the Persian Man. And people have been asking me, I think I started talking about going out west about a year ago. So in that year, I've been asked multiple times on all my social media, you got to have a Persian. And we did talk to people again at the Terry Fox thing and it was closed unfortunately when we came through the first time but uh, I'm glad and it closes in like what uh, 45 minutes or less so I'm glad we uh, got here in time me too uh, darn we would have had to stay overnight the icing is like an icing you just make it home like that's the kind of texture and flavors it is it's nothing like I've ever had before though Way to go, Thunder Bay, for having such a unique thing that everybody in Thunder Bay knows and loves. And I'm so glad Carol and I had the chance to slip by here. And I'm definitely, uh, next time I come through, going out west, driving through Thunder Bay, I'm going to make a little detour every single time mm -hmm. to try another Persian. They had some other cool sweets in there. What did you get? What was that? Oh, yeah. Carol got some dessert for tonight. These are cinnamon, mini cinnamon Min donuts. Cinnamon donuts. Yeah. Carol used to love them. What is it called? Tiny Tim's? Tiny Tim's, yeah. Tiny Tim's donuts. Or Tiny Tom or Tiny, Tiny Tim. I don't know, but Tiny something. They were really small. You they, really they made only, them right there. You really only would get them at like a fair. Yeah. Or Wonderland. But we used to get them at um, the c &E in Toronto mm -hmm. every year. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's a long time since I've been there. Once again, guys, thank you for letting us know about this. Now we have to book it because it takes about four hours, five hours to get to our campsite from here. So uh, Carol's going to drive. I'm going to edit. <laughs> So it's not like that other place that actually had like stuff for us. Like we, there was one that place that actually had like information. Oh, that was private. Oh, I didn't. That's funny. All right, made it. It is ten o'clock at night. The sun is almost set. We're up so high in the province. So uh, let's find our spot. R nine. R nine. Made it oh, right by the water. Let's just go quick, do a quick peek at the water. You gonna get a jacket? I'm just gonna get my freezing. So we're at number nine today. If this camera goes wide angle, then it doesn't uh, expose very well. So we got our fire pit. I don't think we have time for a fire tonight. Oh yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. This would be a great site in the summertime to go for a swim right outside. Oh, we got the moon up there. The poor camera doesn't know what to focus on. Very nice. 
Yeah, it's a great spot. Good find, hun. Carol did up the, all the dishes and we used this uh, big pot here to heat up the water on our gas stove just to save electricity. Um, and now we're using the lid of that to fry up some bread. Oh boy. And then we cook some soup. That's ready to go. I'm trying out this pickle beer. If you love pickles, you'll love this beer. If you don't like pickles, you will hate this beer. It's like somebody dumped brine pickle brine into your beer as a joke perfect so that's how that was going put that there keep that shut this off the lid just needs a little scrubby scrub scrubs this water is nice and warm i don't know what the temperature is here it's got to be like maybe two i just i just checked it's four degrees celsius we bought four of those buns uh, back in Winnipeg, and uh, thought we'd do them up today. So I think we'll always carry this with us, just in case we run out of electricity, which we didn't. We just wanted to Not cook outside today. Our electricity, right? Yeah, Carol would rather have the electric blanket on tonight. Oh yeah! Oh I, yeah! Oh yeah! Here we go. <laughs> Get the oh yeah on camera. Time to eat. This this pickle beer is making me burp like crazy. Thanks, Nova, for that <laughs> pickle burps. How is it? It's good. Good soup? It's nice. I did an all right job on, you, the, you on that bread. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got some soup. How is it? Yeah, it's good. It's not like ripping my mouth apart. No. It's not like boiling hot. All done. That's how good it was. Uh, we had a great day. We saw two more moose. Um, some almost like uh, her herons, but I've never seen them that close to a road. Yeah. So I'll have to try and figure out what kind of bird that was. But it looked like a heron or a stork or some kind of thing. And then we saw a lynx or a bobcat bolt across the road. Uh, so this trip, I've seen four moose. A grizzly bear. Never saw a regular bear, but you saw a grizzly and a regular I saw bear. A grizzly and a black bear. Yeah. Had a great trip. Just ending it off with this fabulous little meal of ours and some pickle beer. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for all your support on this channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Ciao. <laughs> thanks a lot.